Welcome to this edition of Volt Quick Tips. This edition will deal with how to secure your EVSE charging units uh, when you are away from home or if you happen to charge outside of your house and are concerned about number one, theft, number two, the weather. Uh, hopefully what I will demonstrate here will take care of those two issues and let's get started. So uh, although I'm in front of my home in my garage, I don't normally charge outside, I charge in my garage, but let's pretend that we are in a public place and you want to charge your uh, vehicle into a 110 unit and are worried about those two issues previously mentioned, theft and weather. Two things are required. One is a heavy duty extension cord. Uh, this one happens to be 12 gauge, 50 feet long. Uh, I got it from Home Depot. Here's the, here's the actual unit that has the clear, the, the clear connectors on the end so you can have some indication of what's going on. And this seems to work well. I've used it quite a few times. The second thing you need is obviously your EVSE. So the next thing you want to do is plug in your extension cord to the power source, which here's a plug in my wall. You want to take the other end of the extension cord, kind of uh, run it to your vehicle, put it into the trunk like, like so. Then you'll want to take your EVSC unit as well and you're going to actually put it back into the, to the vehicle. The next thing you'll want to do is to unwind as much as the cord as you'll need to reach to reach the uh, charge port on the side of your volt. Set that aside. Then you want to plug in the e EVSE to the extension cord. So we're plugged in. Got a light on the cord to indicate uh, everything looks, looks good. And the green light on the EVSE. Set this down. We'll take this in and run it out of the trunk into the charge port. And we'll keep these two cords that are coming out, keep them together off here to the side. So we take the connector here, run it over to the charge port, like so. Plug it in, and we listen for the uh, acknowledgement beep. There it was. Now, what you want to do is probably make this nice and neat. Now that the car is charging, we can tuck everything away securely and protect it from the weather. So basically, put the cables close together here and simply close your trunk. And I usually just, maybe it takes a couple of times. There we go. Uh, this is protected by rubber, so uh, it's not like it's going to cut into the, to the wiring. And now you have a safe, secure, protected from the weather setup for charging in a public place. So there you have a simple and effective way to protect your EVSC from, from the elements and from theft. Just run the cord into the EVSC in your trunk and have the, uh, the connector from the EVSC come out of the trunk into your port, your charging port.
nice and neat uh, cabling, nothing to worry about. And you don't have to fumble with, with padlocks and, and things like that. And that's it for another edition of Volt Quick Tips.